What's the Pendragon Cycle generally about? I have never heard of this series, but I'm excited to watch. It is about Arthur Pendragon, ultimately, although we don't meet Arthur in the seven episodes that we've currently shot. It's about sub-Roman Britain, which is the time sort of between the fall of Rome in Britain and uh, the, the Saxon conquest of Britain. And so it's a, it's a period that we don't know an awful lot about, and it's the period from which Arthurian lore uh, stems. One thing I love about the series is that it isn't a, it isn't a chivalric, it isn't a French-influenced tell, uh, Arthurian tale. It, isn't, it doesn't take place in the high Middle Ages like some of the later Arthurian stories do. It places Arthur more in, in his historic context. If there was an Arthur, this is when he would have been and, and when all the earliest Arthurian legend uh, takes place. And, and it's about um, a lot of things that I think are really relevant to us. It's about what is it to be a man? It's about what is it to have a mission? Uh, what is it to, to believe in uh, God and to believe uh, in Christ in a time and in a world that isn't receptive to that? Um, those, are, those are challenging questions. And I think sometimes our politics and our faith, like everyone, we're products of our environment we, we like to think that we're not. We like to think that our ideas are like the true, original, best ideas, but everyone thinks that. Our, our ideas may very well be connected to original ideas. Hopefully they are. Hopefully they're undergirded with historic thought and, and, um, and timeless truth. But we live in time, and we're not always the best judges of that. And so as a result, our politics and our faith uh, sometimes aren't big enough to include all the ways that man has had to live. But of course, it is necessarily true that if God is real, then he must be God of all of the circumstances in which his people have lived. He must be God of now, yes, but also God of then. And since then was different than now, that necessarily means that the experience of God then was different than our experience of God now or our experience of God in the future. And so for me, that's a very uplifting and enlightening aspect of this story that I hope really comes through.